Hey everybody, Double Difficult Sayings here. I'm Jonah. And I'm Matt. And we got a producer letter for the card game, which is a surprise. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Not um, really. But we're not going to read the whole thing, we're just, just going to sum it all up, basically. Um, so they're just going, you know, here's some information, thanks for playing our game, yada yada yada. Uh, they mentioned the Z extra cards, which were introduced in set 5, as it says here, Zenkai 5. And then, of course, New God Rare, they were just like, you know, like, you, yeah. got, you guys loved it, cool, right, we'll do it again. Moving on. So, the biggest takeaway from this is this kind of information, the next two pages, basically. Uh, or is it just the next page? It's just the next page. Uh, we'll be bringing back, oh, no, Collector's Booster. Oh. In Zenkai 7, we'll bring back the Collector's Booster. And then there's the <laughs> bit about um, that as well. Right. Oh, that worked out before. <laughs> uh, so, this is the planned schedule, but of course, this could all change, as you know. So, they got mass products, mass events, fusion world product, and fusion world events. So, there you go, you got the current championships, and then the Masters, December, Zenkai, set 6, which we knew. Um, we're not actually sure what set 6 in, is going to have in it, I don't think. If we do, I completely missed it. Well, no. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so... Hopefully that'll still be December, and then in March we've got Zenkai set 7. But between that, this is where it gets annoying, Fusion World set 1 well, February, but we already knew that, again, of course this could all change. Um, so, and then you got April, nothing. Uh, May, you've got Fusion World 2. And then in June, you've got Zenkai set 8. And then we got July, nothing. August, Fusion World set 3. And then we got September, nothing. October, we've got Zenkai set 9. And then November is Fusion World set 4. So. Some of it is very close together. So yeah. Like, the gaps between the... So, like, if you're going by format separately, the gaps are fine. It's basically, like, you got a month, two months off, set, two months, set, two months... Well, set, three months. And with Fusion World, basically every three months there's a new set. But, because of how it's worked out, there is some back-to-backs. If you're playing both formats... It's going to be expensive. Your wallet's taking a hit. <laughs> <clears throat> um... So then they just gone. We recently announced our new title Fusion World received a wide range of feedback. After reading your reactions, we thought it'd be a good idea to update you on our product schedule. Yep, okay, fair enough. And then it goes, uh deeper into future development of masters. Uh so to the world championships, yada yada yada. Zenkai set six, the Z extra effect will be more widely expanded with the f uh, with that Z stacks to increase the Z deck speed. Right, so, okay, so we do have a little bit of set six information there, is that they're doing the Z-stacking thing for, but they've already doing the Z-stack thing for things anyway, so I don't, I don't know. Um, and then it says, cards that will help the token utilization and other cards that make, uh, that make for a more exciting play experience. Um, then set five, and the God Rare will be included, enjoy. So they're just doing more Z stack thing and more token based things for set six. That's all that we have for that. Hmm. Set seven, uh, they're thinking. Well, so thinking, we they say we are adding two exciting new additions to the Z deck. The first edition will be arrival of Z Unison. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. This is the part where we're like, uh, because they need to expand the Z deck if they're adding two new card types to it. Yeah. If they're adding two new card types, and then of course you've got the Z-Stack mechanic as well. Yeah, um, yeah the, having seven cards in the Z-Deck <laughs> is too small of a number to include all of this stuff. It can be awkward now with some decks. Oh yeah. Like, some of them require multiple different leaders, or they require having a certain Z-Card at three, so then you've got four slots. And it's like, 
with uh, Janemba deck recently, your Z deck is just is the extra cards and maybe something else. So like they need to expand the Z deck if they're going to add more card types to it. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Um, and then it goes wider range after set six. Uh, new Z cards, the other edition of adjustments regarding the rules. So more rule updates. Uh, and then set seven is and uh, they're bringing back the collector's booster. But that's it. That's all we know for that. And then, uh. so, <laughs> yeah. And then set eight, uh, they're currently working making a special commemorative set for the seventh anniversary. Which is good. So that's all that we really know about what's coming up. Uh, we don't know what the sets are actually going to include. The only one we know for a fact is set seven, which is going to have the unisons. Uh, and apparently the collector's booster, but yeah. But we'll just we'll see what happens in the next few months when they start revealing all of this stuff. When it gets close, those releases. Other than that, which is basically it. Yeah, I don't really. I mean, I'm kind of looking forward to it just because I'm curious to see what they do. Yeah, I, I'm interested, but. My main gripe is like, if they're going to add to Z deck, they need to expand it. Because that's what, like, say Yu Gi Oh, for example, did. They added more types and, like, okay, we need to expand this. And then other card games like Vanguard, the Fallen Suit, where they're like, oh, we've added this in. We're going to expand this because now we're adding this in. And it's like, yeah, you need to do that. Well, Yu Gi Oh is still 15. Yeah, but they had to expand to that before it wasn't as high. It was unlimited before. Oh, okay, well. And then they put it down to 50. Oh, whatever. Um, my main point is that they can't leave it where it is. They need to add to it. Yeah. Because you, you can bet your ass there'll be a deck that comes out with a Z leader, a Z unison, and a Z bout card. And I'll be like, yeah, you want all these in the deck. Good luck. And it'll come with the extra card as well. Yeah, and that's the thing as well. With the anniversary, they've added the Z extra cards that you might want to put in the deck. And it's like, well, great, I've got seven slots to play with, and I know six of them are going to these three card types. Cool. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to have to say this I'm looking more forward to seeing what happens in Fusion World than I am Masters. Yeah, I agree, because Fusion World's. <laughs> news it'll be very different so it'll be interesting to see what they want to do with it compared to masters yeah really looking forward to the first set of that um on another side note hopefully we'll get some beta news soon as well because you know fusion world is meant to be out in february the client's meant to be out roughly around the same time and we still got no beta news for it i reckon that won't be till december at best just because they like, they don't tend to tease things really far in advance. Like, we've had the set reveals, and then basically two weeks later the set came out. Like, they they pace it out so that you're not waiting too long for everything. Yeah. So I reckon maybe December time, start of January, that's when we'll start getting beta news for February release. Because if they do it, like, now, and wait until February, people want them to do it early, and... That was causing a whole heap of mess. Or well, people will forget about it. Because <laughs> that is another thing. Yeah. Alright guys, uh, so leave any thoughts in our comments below and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.